Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, we're gonna talk about sharing the Facebook pixel with different ad accounts and also how you can share your Facebook pixel with another organization or another business. So let's get straight into it. Here I am in the Facebook Ads Manager and I'm under Event Manager right now. And we're also under data sources, so you can see that by coming over here and just clicking on data sources, and you should see the pixels that you have in your ads manager account. And we see right now, I just have the Nathan Williams pixel, and then there's default offline event set for Crazy Eye Marketing. So basically I have one pixel right now, and let's say that I want to add another pixel from another ads manager or another ads account into this particular ads account because I want to optimize for conversions or build custom audiences or something like that. So what I do is I'd come into to my business tools here and go to business settings and I want to come on down here to data sources and pixels and then I want to identify what pixel I want to go ahead and share with my account so you can go through these pixels here that I have and let's just say I want to share the 90 10 gears pixel with my current account and I'll come over here to connected assets and I'll go to add assets or of course I could just click add assets right here so either way is fine we'll do add assets and then select the ad account you want to go ahead and add the pixel to. So I want to add it to my crazy ad marketing account. So let me click that little bubble here. And of course I could add it to multiple ones if I want to at the same time. So if you want to share this pixel across all the ad accounts you have access to, you could do that if you want to. So anyway, I'll go ahead and add it now. And there we go, one ad account has been added. Okay, cool. So then if I come back out to my events manager here and I wait for it to load. And I wanna make sure that I'm under my ad account. So let me go under that real quick. Gotta navigate over here. And now we see under my data sources that I have two pixels. I have my Nathan Williams pixel and the 9010 gears pixel as well. So now when I'm creating campaigns, ad sets and ads, I could go ahead and use the 9010 gears pixel and I could also, well, not and, it's an or, I can pick either one of these pixels I wanna go ahead and use when creating my ad sets and ads. But I can also create custom audiences based off of this pixel as well. So it gives you a little bit more power and flexibility, especially if you have multiple businesses and maybe you have like similar type audiences and you could kind of build off of each other. Like this is a great reason to go ahead and share these pixels. Now let's say like, I. I don't want this pixel anymore. I can remove it basically the same way that I added it. So we'll come back here to business tools and then business settings. And then I wanna come back down to data sources over here and into pixels. And I wanna to go to, I'll make sure I'm on the correct pixel and do connected assets. And we can see that the ad account crazy our marketing is connected here. So if I delete it and I confirm, but well, then that'll remove the 9010 gear pixel from my ad account. So now I'm not like overloaded with different pixels and things like that. So if I come all the way back out here real quick, we'll do it real quick. And I'm back under my events manager and data sources. We see that the 9010 pixel is now gone. So it's gone out of my account and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, if I want to share my pixel with another agency or something like that, or I have an agency that wants access to my pixel, that's what we're going to talk about now. So I have this other account over here that I'm going to go ahead and click into real quick. And let's say that I want to have access to this account's Facebook pixels. So I come in here to data sources and pixels. And then I want to go ahead and come into partners, partners or assign partner. So either one's fine. I'll just do assign partners real quick. And then it asks me to enter a partner business ID. So let me just come back over here and we go to business tools and business settings again. And we can see the business ID right here in the URL. So you could go ahead and grab it right here. Alternatively, we could come on down here to business info on the bottom left hand corner. And we see that here's our business ID as well. So you can grab it either location in the URL or under the business information section. So we'll go ahead and grab that real quick. Come back over here and paste it in there. And then we have different accesses, accesses we can give to people. So we have partial access. So this is basically view. So view and analyze pixel performance in Facebook analytics, and we can create conversion ads. So we can use that pixel to create ads, you know, that target purchases or ads to carts or leads or something like that. So we can, we can do a little bit of stuff here. And of course we can go ahead and view the different analytics. And then there's full control where they can create, edit and view pixels, add or remove pixel events, Pick, create pixel audiences and conversion ads, add, edit, and remove pixel users. So pretty powerful. So, you know, if 
the person you're given access to your pixel, you trust them, or you're given access to yourself just across different business manager accounts, well then you wanna get full control, but you know, if it's just somebody kind of poking around, you might wanna give them partial access until you, you have full trust in, in what they're doing. But anyway, since I'm just sharing it with myself, I'm gonna go with full control here, and I'll go ahead and hit next. And then we gotta answer this question, how will you work with Crazy Eye Marketing, or you know, whatever organization or agency you're sharing your pixel with. And of course, select what applies to your business so I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one right now and go ahead and hit next. And then we have to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions and I'll go ahead and accept it right here. And then I'll go ahead and hit done. Now I'll come back over to my crazy marketing account and I'm gonna go into data sources here and into pixels. Now I can see that the FB ads course pixel is pending. I have this little yellow dot here and it says request pending. So I can click into there real quick and I can go ahead and agree to accept it or you know, I can ignore it basically. I'll go ahead and agree, accept. Now I have access to the FB ads course pixel. So in a whole different business manager account, I have access to that pixel as well. So if I click done and I go out to my events manager and back under data sources, and I'm not seeing the pixel right now because I still have to go ahead and add it. So go back into the business settings real quick. And of course, down to data sources and pixels and click on the FB ads course pixel and then connected assets, add asset. And then I'll go ahead and add my ad, ad account, then add and done. And now finally, if I go back to the events manager here, and under data sources, I see that I now have access to the FB ads courses pixel and I could go ahead and use this for my advertising efforts. And then of course, if I wanna remove it, it's the same way that I showed you how to remove that 90, 10 pixel that we removed earlier. So same concept. And that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you share it with other ad accounts as well as other business manager accounts. And hopefully you found this video helpful. Have a great rest of the day.